Hi, this review is for the Dynamic Distraction Watercolor Set. It seems like every time I look for art supplies, there's a new brand popping up. It makes it hard to decide which ones to try. With the competition nowadays, a product really has to have some special perk for me to buy it. This set happened to be very cheap while appearing high quality and gift ready. There's 12 half pan colors in a nice travel tin, three synthetic paint brushes, a brush bag, along with being packaged in a lovely gift box style presentation. All for a price I've paid for a single tube of high-end paint. At first glance, it looks like a great deal. The round brushes appear really well made with a sharp point for detail. They have a nice smooth resin coated wood handle. This set does not come with a paintable swatch chart and it does not include any pigment information. The colors have quirky names and there is at least one of the colors that won't be light fast. The opera neon pink, which they called forget me not. This definitely seems like a bargain set aimed at student artists. I really wish I hadn't reorganized the pans that got jumbled up during the shipping with the pink one first, as this got my initial impressions started in a negative way. This color seems to be less pigmented than the other colors. It's a little chalky and hard to reactivate. I'm also generally not a fan of fugitive colors, unless they are incredibly vivid or unique. This would not be a good pink for those who normally love the color commonly called opera, as it is one of the weakest neon pinks I have seen. It is easily overpowered in any mix. The color selection is odd for a set labeled as basics, and there did end up being a couple colors I really wish they had not included. To make up for that, this set does have a lovely primary trio. Sugar Plum, Daisy, and Little Boy Blue work as a nice clean magenta, yellow, and cyan, perfect for mixing vibrant secondary colors. However, past that, there are three types of red but only one yellow and one blue, which felt slightly limiting when it comes to mixing. So I think an ultramarine blue would have worked better than the forget-me-not pink to offer a more comprehensive basic set. Like the pink, the fair skin color is also pretty dull and has too much white mixed into it. It leans towards pale orangish peach, not a realistic skin tone. It mixes poorly and creates muddy colors. The skin color is also so light that it's not very economical. If they had included a warmer brown, like a burnt sienna instead, you could just dilute that to a pale brown, which would have gone a long way and been a more accurate skin color. While you could mix different browns for portraits using the primary colors, it's also possible to warm up the cooler bare brown in this set with red or orange to have a simple starting point. This set also has a nice opaque titanium white, which could be used for highlights instead of a white gel pen, and it's even possible to mix pastels that are gouache-like for use on dark papers. The Holland Green was a nice dark forest green. Instead of the bright emerald thalo usually found in this type of set, 
and it's actually quite pretty and when mixed with daisy yellow gives most of the greens I'd choose for florals. Aside from the two colors I didn't like, I overall enjoyed the rest of the colors. Both the paints and the brushes ended up being a pleasure to use. I was happy that the brushes were capable of fine detail and held a lot of water, allowing me to do more work before having to reload my brush. In the end, I think the whole purchase was worth it for the brushes. I've bought much worse brushes for watercolor that cost more than this whole set. They do, however, sell a brush set separately in case that interests you more than the paints. I'll put links to all the art materials in the description. I'd love to hear your thoughts on this set, and as always, I appreciate your feedback. Happy painting! Thank you.